I'm fairly happy with what we've come ac come across, come up against so far. Come again. The result we've I've, we've produced so far. Um, one thing I don't like is this engine. I think that could probably be done a little bit better, a little bit differently. Um, we're going to put this in and also the joystick. So let's first work on this engine bit down here. So what I'm going to do is first up is let's, oh, should we quickly rename these? I'm just going to, as I go, uh, mesh underbody. So as I start editing each um, mesh object, whatever you want to call it, object, let's just start renaming them. Mesh underscore engine body. Now what I want to do on this one, can't spell mesh, mesh. What I'm going to do on this one is, I think, I think we're missing, there should be some panels here, some access panels or something. So I'm going to shift D to duplicate and right click to put that back in. What I'm going to do here now is I'm going to go to add modifier, solidify. Now I don't want it the solidifier to be on the inside. I kind of want it to be in the middle. So I'm going to set the offset to zero. I'm going to do a shift A. No, a tab. And now I'm going to find all the panels I kind of want to be panels really. So I'm going to put an edge loop in here and I'm going to get rid of all these panels because I don't need them. I don't think that should be a panel. And this one on the edge here, that doesn't need to be a panel. I think, let's put another edge loop in here. No, we won't. I'm gonna make, I want that to be a panel. Does that, ah, it touches there. So I'm gonna make these four a panel. I just wanna make sure I've got all the same ones selected on both sides. So I want these four to be panels not these in here. Um, so they're going to be kind of an access panel. And I think, mm, I reckon I should have put one in here as well. So let's just do that again quickly. That, there can't be a panel here because that's where, oops, because that's where that binding is. Now the reason why an edge loop isn't going all the way around is because I've got five vertices here. So let's fix that up. What I'll do is I'm going to grab that lot there and whoa, turn off proportional editing. It's going to move it there. I'm going to select all these vertices, size Y zero, and I'm going to remove doubles. And so now technically if I go, why are you making me a liar? There it is. So I need to delete. Hmm. Can I delete vertice? I'm going to have to recreate that face. Oh, that's annoying. So let's just recreate these. What am I selecting here and here? Face and face. And on the same on the other side. Delete vertice. So I'm just tidying this engine up a little bit and alt right click and now select that edge loop. Okay. Now where do we want this panel? I want a panel here. I want a panel here. Let's go into side mode and these two. Why didn't you select the other side? I want that one. I want that one. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do control I because I'm going to select everything that I don't want and I'm going to delete faces. And so now what we're kind of left with is these panels and I'm going to go into a bevel because I want to put a bevel on them. Let's just make that bevel a little bit smaller 
put the angle on. Uh, let's go auto smooth. And so now we've kind of given a little bit more definition to this area. Um, so if we go back into rendered, what does that look like? So it's all, it's just kind of filled that up a little bit. I think that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, let's leave it with that one. And let's kind of do the same with the inside as well. So I'm going to select, let's go, let's call that the mesh underscore main body, we'll call it main body. And where's, let's find this boot, we'll call it mesh underscore storage, internal storage, int. Okay, and we'll do the same thing we just did. So I'm going to do a control shift D, right click, and we'll call this underscore panels, solidify modifier, put it to zero, I might make it a little bit thicker. All right, tab to go into edit mode. Size Y zero. Let's have a look. You see how we're looking here. Gonna put in one here. And control B. Um, how do we hide the glass? That one. So that's definitely not going to work that one. I do kind of want it longer though. So what we'll do is I'm going to deselect these. Control I, delete faces. And I'm just going to elongate these a little bit. B select, let's just move it to there. Mm, kind of looks okay. Bevel. Just turn that down a little bit. Auto smooth. And so now we've kind of got these panels here. I think, I think there should be something here. I think there's an empty spot there with something. Um, I know. What we'll do is let's do shift A. We'll add a plane. Rotate X on the 90. Scale that one up. And so it's kind of like a panel is just here that can be accessed. I believe that should be it there. That doesn't look too bad. And what we might do is uh, a little bit later, we'll create some latches and we'll just put them around the place. Um, let's just quickly select this. We'll also change this to angle. So we get rid of that. Beautiful. So you can see the ship is coming along quite nicely. Just like little things like that. Let's go back into rendered. Just something a little bit. That's fine. All right. Okay. Um, now the next bit, let's just work on the joystick.